Good morning, everyone. Thank you for attending this session. I hope that we um, can generate some good discussion about these unsettled times and the world that we work in, how the political environment, the military atmosphere, the uh, heightened sense of patriotism uh, that we hear the rhetoric about um, affects the, the work we do. Um, in my work at the National Museum of American History dealing with the American flag, it was something that I was conscious of all the time. The Star Spangled Banner Project was initiated in 1998 at the uh, National Museum of American History. The main goal was to preserve the flag that had inspired the national anthem. Hired as a curator uh, on the project and specifically brought to uh, the Smithsonian to work on that one project. Uh, Jim used to joke and say that I was the only curator who had one object to curate in, I guess, the whole new, uh, Smithsonian. And, uh, but, but boy, it, it was a big one. Um, but we just didn't want to tell the story of the Star Spangled Banner. We thought there was an opportunity to ask more challenging questions, more complex questions. We wanted to get at ideas about identity, citizenship, and patriotism. Um, that we know those concepts are not easy concepts, that it really does take analysis, thought, to uh, tease out the ideas that are inherent within those broad concepts. So we also had the challenge to try to make these discussions visible. How do we take abstract ideas and make them visible to audiences in exhibitions? That's what we do in museums. So we decided that we wanted to add context and depth to a discussion about the ubiquitous symbol that the American flag is. We knew that we could tell stories about people and the flag uh, as a potent vehicle for reaching a wide spectrum of museum goers. We wanted to argue that the American flag is a dynamic symbol, that it reflects events, attitudes, and debates, and it represents changing ideas within the society. We also thought we could fill a void in the scholarship as well as the public arena. We also wanted to think we could play an active role in shaping public understanding of this preeminent national symbol. And for public historians, it doesn't get any better than this to have a, a big, giant project that we knew we were going to get lots of media on. It was an $18 million project. Uh, we had 12 million people come to see the work we were doing over the course of seven years. So we thought, wow, we really have a chance to tell a much more dynamic story about the flag and what it represents. So at first, we were not sure among the curators how much we could really probe this sacred symbol of America. How much teasing out of bigger ideas could we do? Because the flag, no matter what you may think about it, there is no doubt the flag is a sacred symbol for many Americans. In no other country in the world do its citizens pledge allegiance to a flag sing a national anthem about their flag and have a code of ethics for behavior towards the flag. Americans love their flag. When we would have international visitors come to the museum, they would often remark, all of this for a flag? You know, the chamber uh, conservators working on it, it, it was very impressive and, and they just were astounded that so much effort was going into one flag. 